Our project involves three molecules of RNA. One molecule of messenger RNA, called M, and two molecules of small RNA, one called S, and another one called R for small RNA regulator. If you imagine these molecules being inside the cell of a bacteria, then the messenger RNA has a ribosome binding site, or RBS, which is complementary to a region of the S RNA. That means that the S RNA will bind to the messenger RNA in an RNA duplex. by base complementarity here at the ribosome binding site. Inside of the cell, this duplex formation leads to the degradation of the messenger RNA. Whereas the small RNA is maintained or it is not degraded in this reaction. So in effect, the small RNA is recycled and acts catalytically in this reaction. This mechanism by which the messenger RNA is degraded is catalyzed by an enzyme called RNase E and something which is not completely understood yet. Now, a second reaction is also occurring in this system. And that is because the rRNA is complementary to that of the small RNA in a way that as well forms a duplex. And base complementarity in this region here. This duplex leads to the specific degradation of the small RNA and conservation of the R RNA. And hence the R RNA is in a completely analogous way to the first reaction. The R RNA is recycled. Now, if we look at these two reactions, we can ask what happens to the M messenger RNA when we add more S to the system. And we see that the M RNA is degraded. And another way to represent that is that by a fancy notation, which is kind of like an arrow with a blunt end. And, and it reads the sRNA inhibits the messenger RNA. Now, what does the second reaction mean? The second reaction means in this new way of describing things that the RNA inhibits the S or the rRNA inhibits the sRNA. So in the fancy notation, meaning R inhibits S. So if you look at the system again, like if we have a lot of messenger RNA and we add some small RNA, S, then we have an inhibition of M, then this M is degraded. But if we at the same time add a lot of R, the S RNA is degraded and hence the addition of R relieves the inhibition that S acts upon M. So if we look at the messenger RNA, then if you have a lot of free messenger RNA, the ribosome is able to bind to this ribosome binding sequence, which means that the messenger RNA is translated into some functional entity or a protein of some sort. If this protein happens to be like C, which is often is a reported gene, then the whole cell 
can turn blue. If enough of the messenger RNA is available. 